What's up guys, how y'all doing today? Now I'm coming y'all with another update of today. I got laid off again. Um, one thing I want y'all to know about these jobs is that, you know, they can tell you it's gonna last this long and that long, but being in this industry for a long time, it don't always work out like that. I was supposed to be here to around Thanksgiving and today they let me go. I'm gonna post back in a few and uh, see what my next move. I'm gonna make a few calls now. I actually got a call to go to Wisconsin uh friday so i might take that i'm gonna talk to my wife about it and uh see what we do but uh i'm just, I'm just giving y'all an update so i just got to uh center street i'm, I'm sure some of y'all know this place especially if you are in houston so i'm gonna just dip into staffing agencies and hopefully i get lucky i know the work been slow but sometimes with these jobs down center street you just have to be there at the perfect time and and I actually got lucky a few times when I came out here. So hopefully I get lucky today. But I'm going to be vlogging as I'm going to these places. Asking to see if they need any water. So we'll see what's up guys. Come on, do I need any waters? Thank you. thousand years later. All the way down, 1989. What's up, man? What's going on? You know that walk? Oh yeah, man, we worked that out. What's up, what's the work at? I know that walk, man. <laughs> So I was gonna stop by and check every office out, but uh, what I heard, most of the offices are on lockdown because of the COVID, and you either have to do everything online, so it's kind of pointless to even go in there for now. I'm gonna head back to my spot and kind of hit some more people up, because as of now, you know, it's, it's about who you know to get in. I already got one lead, so he'll let me know by the end of tonight. Hopefully, Connect gets that job, because he's been, I think he's been on the job right now, and if he gets it, uh, I'll be straight. Other than that, there's nothing else. Like I said, I'm gonna head back to the crib. I'm gonna regroup, talk to my wife, if it comes down to it, I will just head to Wisconsin just to finish the year off and we'll head back to Texas uh, before the new year. But at the end of the day, we'll see what we do though, man. We're we, we gonna stay positive, you know? It's pointless to even get annoyed or pissed off because you can't change what the reality is. This is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make two of these exactly the same way of these going on the forklift. And my square tubing, I'm gonna just copy exactly how it is. So I'm gonna be making two of those. So pretty little easy job, you know, nothing nothing too hard. So yeah, man, I'm happy I'm able to come out here. I like really like doing these side jobs, man, cause I can really, you know, take my time and I like to build things. And maybe the rest of the week, I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can find a job. I'm thinking about going to a shop just to finish the year off. You know, I'm trying to just stay cool, maybe work 40 hours or so. So I'm thinking about hitting up a few shops. So we'll, we'll see what's up, man. Uh, I'm gonna get to work, you know. I'm gonna uh, let y'all see what I'm doing, though. Okay, I got all of these welded up. You know, I also got the bottom just tacked up. Before you do these, you make sure you wanna tack some at the bottom, like I did, because when you weld, it could bold up. So make sure you have the support, like I do right there. You don't want that to be all nasty looking. But I put a pass of 6010. Now I'm about to cap it with some 7018. And uh, yeah, man, it's coming out pretty good. Uh, I'll show you all the finished product in a little bit. Just finished up, capped it. Now, it was good. All finished up, what y'all think? What's up guys? Uh, this is the next day. I got another project today. That's the one that I did uh, yesterday. We painted it up, looks real nice, ready for it. And uh, I'm about to build another one. This one's gonna be built a little bit different. 
the C channel is going to be way thicker and way wider. That one's pretty slim. This one will be about three foot wide. It's made for a bigger forklift. So yeah, this is the new project for today. I'm really excited about it. So let's get to it. Okay, so I went ahead and tacked it. Uh, the gap that I'm using is kind of like a saw blade. It's a little tighter on some sides. So I'll, I'll probably run kind of hot. Uh, I'm running in 50 on the remote. But I want to make sure that this is good, well to good because a lot of weight's going to be on here. The last thing I want is for it to break for somebody to get hurt. I already did that side. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm about to show you how to do this right now. For all the new guys that started rig welding or want to become a rig welder, you really need to learn how to fabricate and uh, fit. You really do this a lot on the field, and if you do want to take on some side jobs, sometimes you know you gotta know how to cut, you gotta know how to square everything up, and you gotta have good quality work. So whatever you're building or whatever you're making, the customer likes it, and you know maybe you can keep on working. But you need to know the basics from measuring to leveling pipe to keeping everything squared and. That's all you really need to know. Now, when you get to the pipeline, sometimes you have to know how to fit pipe 45 degrees. You gotta know all that. It's not just about welding. It, it, it takes way more than that to be a rig welder. But y'all have the internet. Y'all have everything to your advantage. Y'all can find out anything that y'all want to learn about. Okay, I got my pieces. Getting ready to tack on this piece right here. Like I said, the forks go in there. Like I said, you know, you always want to make sure that everything is nice and squared. As you see, I'm a little off. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Probably just tag the bottom and just bend it. Uh, finished up. Like I said, this one's way bigger than the other one. Made for a bigger forklift. What y'all think? Y'all like it? It's ugly? Y'all don't fuck with my welds? Let me know what you think. Yeah guys, all finished up now. Easy project, but yeah man, since I'm laid off, I'll see what I do. Hopefully it keeps me busy over here. If not, well, I went to a place today and they need some rig welders and uh, they told me uh, maybe around mid next week that they might call me, so hopefully they do. But we don't know what's gonna happen, but you know, I appreciate if you got this far. Like I said, uh, if you wanna become a rig welder, it's more than just welding. You also have to fabricate and do uh, other type of things. But we'll see what happens in my journey, you know. Don't forget to subscribe so, you know, let's see what happens. Am I going to stay unemployed? Am I going to find another job? I'm thinking about teaching for a little while. I like to teach and I'm thinking about hitting up a welding school to see if they'll let me come teach just for the rest of the year. And then next year I'll jump, on, jump back on and welding. But uh, I don't know what y'all think I should do, man. Teach, stick with the side projects or go out of town, which I think I should do. I don't think I'm taking that job in Wisconsin, man. It's too far and it's way too cold for me. So I think I'm gonna stay in uh, Houston. Hopefully something shakes. But uh, man, thanks for watching though. I'll see y'all next time, peace.